welcome to Newport and welcome to the Puma Ocean Racing kickoff event. Puma first announced their entry into the uh, sailing category in May 2007 when they officially entered the Volvo Ocean Race. They achieved a remarkable second place in 2008-2009 with uh, Ken Reid, uh, a skipper. It's been very clear that Puma thinks way outside the box. <laughs> and the fact that Laird was brought in as part of our group just shows that, that um, there are no boundaries to bring access to the ocean for people, for non-sailors. I mean, that's really, that's what we're trying to do here. Where they're going to go in the ocean and what they're going to see is going to help me a lot. You know, they're going to be all over the ocean and they're going to be looking at waves and seeing stuff that, that, uh, that I want to try to ride that maybe they want to try to avoid. And in together within that, maybe, you know, something comes for them and for me as well. Puma as a sports brand, we always look to go against the grain and the Volvo Ocean Race provides us, let's say, a, a fertile playground for how we can interact, engage and excite consumers. We generally look at everything that goes out in the sporting or the training or athletic or performance world and seeing all the work that Laird's been doing and, and kind of how he's almost in a, in a singular man capacity pushing this sport on a global scale where everybody's fighting for eyeballs. So, you know, light bulb goes off and you're like, wow, how do you bring that around the world faster? How can we help bring that around the world faster? And the conversation started to happen and then, then we get a pretty crazy yacht designer involved and we start making things and, you know, it, it kind of doing it the Puma way. So, uh, and that brings us to where we are today. As a company, we've publicly over the years been working towards re-engineering ourselves to be a, a much more sustainable and much more responsible company. So when we were planning and when we decided to do the race all over again, we're like, how do we use that passion and that, let's say, uh, or organic attraction to the race and, and, and use it for education and a little bit of, uh, you know, fun and humor and entertainment as well as developing interesting children's products to also a fairly exciting book that, that helps educate young kids about the importance of ocean preservation. I always say that sailing is really one of the least important things that we do. You know, if we can, if we can affect some kids, if we can bring, bring some people to the ocean, if we can, uh, if we can affect some people's lives positively to make a difference, then we've done our job. We've been fairly transparent in our behavior and what our goals are from a, from a sustainability standpoint. So, you know, if we can just live up to a, what we're saying and, and, and change the organization and change the mindset, I think that'll keep us fueled for a while. So.